Hi guys, welcome to this unboxing and quick review of this US Pool Supply Professional Swimming Pool Leafs Cabernet with 48 inch aluminum pole, deep ultra fine mesh netting back <laughs> basket for fast cleaning, blah 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 blah. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do for first, I'm going through the listing checking the reviews second part will be the unboxing third part will be uh, I will be using it outside and see how it really works it says it's sturdy light white lightweight uh, skim the finest debris safe and easy one year satisfaction warranty I mean with a $12 product yeah it doesn't make sense but always sounds good uh, a few pictures so the idea why I bought this was because the pole is uh, divided into four pieces and I'm currently uh, I was currently actually looking for a skimmer which is uh, good working in a spa or hot tub and if you have a really long standard pole like if you have the 48 inches in one piece or even longer it's a little bit uh, cumbersome so uh, I'm planning to use it with maybe one or two pieces and so I have much more power uh, yeah on the mesh um, yeah the reviews are not too bad but not perfect it's an Amazon's choice product but it says mm, highly rated yeah okay more or less well priced yeah that it's definitely and avail available to ship immediately I would like more something like a uh, few returns but uh, yeah it is as it is when we go down um to the reviews it says it's an average of 3.7 out of 5 stars uh i mean there are a lot almost half of them of the people say um it's it's good but 17 17% 17 one star uh, yeah you can't uh, really um neglect that i mean um yeah so you have to look what what I mean. Uh, I hope you like Disney because it's pretty Mickey Mouse. Yeah, okay. That doesn't look too good. Flimsy, mesh too fine, too fine. Uh, yeah, this is actually what I want. They did not include the pole, so I can't really believe that. I mean, it, these are um, yeah packages. Uh, I mean. Uh, yeah it's hard to believe but yeah I, I don't know a lot of things happened Paul might be strong enough to leave uh, to lift a leaf <laughs> oh yeah that doesn't sound too good yeah okay I'm not planning to um, take out uh, a manatee or something like that but um, yeah let's see poor quality extremely flimsy yeah so that's it for the regarding the reviews um, and the listing so let's move on to the unboxing and of course at the end I will do the uh, test out outside and see how this works so let's do the unboxing here we have the details US pool supply whatever that means don't I uh, don't think it's made in US yeah here we see it's designed in the USA yeah at least that made in China of course here we get the website uh, some description not more here we have the polls um, yeah it's sealed so I really can't believe that somebody got a package package without a pole uh, of course you have to cut I already did that uh, yeah just make sure you don't cut where the mesh is of course uh, people say it's a little bit flimsy it's not really sturdy so 
maybe we should be careful with the unboxing as well could be yeah i don't want to damage that so mm, it's hard to say super flimsy yeah what could be a problem is this area where it is probably glued or i don't know how they attach that to the frame maybe with some uh high heat or something like that i don't know if it's glue or heat or as you can see this is i mean it's quite even there are some spots uh, which overlap a little bit more some areas which are not so good here it's a little bit thin so i don't know what happens so it's definitely not a professional tool i think but uh, i don't mind i just need it for some time uh, not for 100 years so the pole is even uh, in another uh, it has another seal so i had to cut this as well So here we have this, yeah, very lightweight and one piece is a little bit special, I mean two pieces, here's probably the end and here we have the part which should go into the mesh itself, it has a spring I guess, no it's no spring, it's just plastic, that's, that's just, yeah, Okay, yeah, I mean, it doesn't look too bad for me, so, I mean, you can hold it without the end piece, but I think it's better to use the end piece, it's a little bit more comfortable, and it doesn't, um, it's not too long. Uh, question is maybe can you use that instead of this one so if you want it super short so I'm trying now the end piece uh, to uh, fit directly into the thing the one pro only problem is that it has just one of these things and it has two holes so but I of course side for the top and it fits yeah that's a surprise so you can use it with a single piece that's not too bad that's a big surprise for me but I think I go with two uh, two pieces of the pole because one is definitely too short so um, yeah that's it regarding the unboxing and so let's go outside and have a look so now I'm outside and yeah, I'm using f two of the four extension pieces and that works pretty well but I think I, at the end I will use all the four pieces it, yeah, it sh seems to be no, no handicap uh, it's not too long it's still quite good for a spa and the fine mesh really works so I'm really um, yeah it's easy to pick up all uh, even all the fine dirt which is really good because sometimes it's really really hard to pick up the fine dirt or yeah, small small fine dirt you can see it's here in the mesh I'm going a little bit closer and you can easily see all these things are in the mesh and yeah of course now I have to take uh, this out yeah one of the things I've noticed I've been uh, collecting a spider not from the spa but uh, yeah when I walk to the door I have seen a really small spider 
coming down from the ceiling from the cage and I catched it and wanted to take it out and what I've seen is that it couldn't uh, crawl uh, or it, it, it was not able to escape from the mesh because of the high saturation of the rim or I don't know how to explain that but it's definitely a good thing when you have like live animals catching when you're live uh, animals or box catching with this mesh they they cannot go out during the time when you're uh, disposing them outside that's a good thing and the last test was how easy it is to remove the dirt and if the mesh won't break or fall apart and that was perfectly done no complaints so far even when it's not super sturdy but I think uh, it was a successful test it worked for my uh, needs of course probably it won't be the right thing if you're a professional if you're doing this thing from morning till evening probably it will break after a week or so uh, but if you need something like this every week or so it will probably last for a year so I don't mind twelve dollars is not much so for from my side full recommendation and uh, if you want to order that you'll find the link in down in the description and I hope I was able to help you a little bit with that if you liked the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time